Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. This is gonna be a really, really fun one and I think it will surprise you. It surprised me. So we are here to check out a turntable by one by one and it's a design that we've seen before but there's, there's a catch. There's something unique about this that you need to check out. In terms of the overall performance of this unit, quality of this unit, and usability, I want you to stand by because I was very surprised. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Everybody's gonna be like, haven't you reviewed this turntable like 48 times at this point? And that was my thought too, when one by one reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to review this? I'm like, well, I've reviewed this a lot. I said, well, this one has been upgraded. There's some added features and uh, some improvements in the design. So I'm like, okay, if there's something to talk about, if there's a story behind this that's interesting, let's do it. So I present to you the one by one turntable hi-fi system with speakers upgraded for 2023. I'm a little behind the ball on that, I guess. Uh, but these guys are a serious competitor in the beginner entry level turntable space. It's not just another one of the millions of brands out there. These guys make products that are competitive. So let's get into it and see what we got this time. The box arrived in good condition, which I very much appreciate. <laughs> As you know, I haven't had the best luck with that in the past. Sometimes things arrive damage due to errors with the carrier. Uh, okay, so here's the dust cover. I'm gonna set this aside for the time being. And we've got the uh, device itself. Back here, we've got a packet of accessories. We'll look at that as well. On the sides, just random little piece of cardboard. Oh, I see, there's some accessories packed into the sides of the styrofoam back here. Okay, so here's a lay of the land in the box, and the reason why it was such a big box is this is a self-contained system. If you haven't seen one of these before, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. They're, they're good, this is actually a good unit, unless this particular one has issues, which I doubt it does. And it's all, it's a total, you know, turnkey solution. You got everything, the speakers, the turntable, everything you need to start, which is another good thing about it. So, we've got the stereo speakers right here. And again, we'll take a closer look at all this stuff. We've got a very heavy cast steel, I believe, uh, platter, and the turntable itself over there. Okay, got everything out of the packaging for the most part. Thought we'd look at some of these components together. Let's start with this platter. Like I said, this thing is hefty. It's noticeably heavier than most platters, and I believe it is steel. It does come with the one-by-one -one branded felt, kind of one of those stiff ones, uh, felt platter mat. Here is the power supply, 15 volt power supply, wall wart. These are the clips for the dust cover, and I'll put the dust cover on a little bit later. And then we've got the weight, the counterbalance for the tone arm, which we'll put on a little bit later. This is one of the improved features. So I'm not sure if this part is improved or the way it's set up, we'll have to see, but I've seen these type before. It's a heavy piece of metal with Sometimes a rubber, yeah, inset piece there, rubber lining, and then it kind of slides to a preset position on there. So we'll use their 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 method for setting the tracking force instead of using the gauge. And then uh, we've got the uh, turntable. We'll look at that in a minute in more detail. Let's check out these speakers. The wood grain uh, reminds me of my childhood. I grew up in a world of brown uh, wood paneling, and <laughs> this takes me right back to like 1986, 1987. So these bookshelf speakers, power rating is 18 watts at four ohms, and we've got these little speaker wire tabs ported. There is an actual tweeter in there. And then uh, we got rubberized feet, not really, really tacky rubber on the bottom. And then the grills do come off, so that's good. Let's take the grill off. You can see the back is a uh, pressed wood, spray painted black with plastic uh, tensioning tabs, and then obviously the black fabric. And then the speaker itself looks pretty cool even without the grill. Although I was typically team grillless for the longest time, but lately I prefer the look of a speaker with a grill. I don't know, I'm just, as I get older, that's kind of the look I like. But there's the, the driver. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's really a carbon fiber 
uh, cone. It looks like one. It looks like the cone on my higher end speakers that I have. But that's a. It looks good. It got a good thick rubber surround, and there is the uh, the tweeter right there. So decent speakers. We're not talking about chintzy speakers here. We're talking about actual decent speakers. Let's get a closer look at that turntable. So it's hefty. It's got good weight to it. It feels like a solid piece of wood. I'm not. I don't recall if it is. I don't. I think it is a solid piece. And then there, if I remember right, there's a box on the back. We'll look at that. Uh, so I'm gonna put the counterbalance on here just kind of loosely for now as we look at this. The control panel is a, is a redesign, so we'll look at that. The sub platter is plastic, and you've got the uh, instructions on how to put that together. And um, yeah, so we've seen this before. Basically, it's lubricated spindle, goes right in there. There's a little ball bearing down there, and we'll see that on the bottom. Obviously, the motor and brass motor pulley. I always like to do this little descend test where we put this on here. See how gently and slowly that goes down. And then to test the drag or lack thereof, give it a good spin. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's better than the last time I saw this. A little bit of wobble there, but again, this is the plastic sub platter. As soon as the heavy platter is on there, it'll it'll level out. But we'll check the, uh, the platter wobble, if any. Now, obviously, we're missing a key component here. We need a belt, so... I'm assuming that's in this accessory bag. Let's go ahead and take that out. They give us a USB cable, so it must have the ability to record speaker wire. We have a cheap 45 adapter that we're just gonna leave on the floor because we're gonna use a, a much better one. And we've got more speaker wire and the belt. Actually, this it must be an, what is this? The grounding wire. This is a grounding wire, I believe. And this is the speaker wire. And look at this, they give you an alignment protractor, which is good. So if you want to align the cartridge or put a new one on, you can do that. That's very, very good. But what I was looking for was this belt. So, okay, so we've got the belt installed. And before we put the heavy platter on, which just sits loosely over the top, uh, I wanted to show you the back and bottom sides of this and just take a closer look all the way around. So it's got about an inch thick plinth, which I believe to be an MDF. This is a veneer over the top. And yeah, so this does use the box design, which is good. I like this design. So because this is a solid piece of wood and there's the ball bearing at the bottom of the main uh, spindle bearing, all of the electronics are in this box. So the amplification, the pre-amplifier, all of that stuff. And before we look at the back panel, I just wanna talk about these feet. This one has a four foot design. I've seen this oftentimes with a three foot, two in the front and then one in the center of the box. This is a four foot design. These are rigid, but solid rubber feet. Okay, starting over here on the left side of the back panel, uh, we have the grounding post, the RCA, left and right output, the preamp switch, so you can turn it off in case you want to use an external preamp. You only need the grounding post if you're using an external preamp. We have the USB connection. So if you wanted to use this to duplicate vinyl, digitize it, that would be cool. Using the free software Audacity. This is a good quality turntable and as you'll see, a good quality cartridge. So this is a good way to make those duplications with higher quality sound. 15 volt power supply. This is great. This is one of those things like, you know, the fact that this is included is testament to the fact we're looking at a you know pretty dang good product here it actually has a pitch adjust for 33 and 45 on the back and the reason why i point that out is not a lot of new equipment has that capability we have the speaker tabs because this unit does have an amplifier to drive the speakers directly more on that in a minute and then the power switch all right just going to go ahead and put on the quite heavy platter and the felt platter mount. Obviously you can upgrade this if you want to, but felt works fine. So according to their system, uh, you'll notice that there's markings along the back of the tone arm here. By the way, this is a good quality metal tone arm. This is a plastic sleeve, uh, but this piece is all metal, plastic base, cueing lever, it, the good gimbal, it's rock solid. Anyway, there's a little arrow on here and all you do is slide it until you get to the one that's highlighted, 2.5. And the reason why there's other markings on there besides 2.5 is 
this cartridge is replaceable. So if you put on a heavier, lighter cartridge, you could adjust it as needed. You'll notice there's no anti-skate. That's one of the complaints of this. Now, I say there's no anti-skate. It could be preset. Okay, the cartridge is an Audio-Technica 3600L, which is a good basic moving magnet cartridge. We've got the carbon fiber cantilever, very nicely insulated wires in the back. So yeah, and it's a tabbed style head shell. So you can make adjustments, you can upgrade, but it comes from the factory with this. Another upgrade that they made is this control panel has been changed, which is a positive change. So we've got a nice metal, I believe, yeah, that's a metal knob. All of these are metal knobs and they've got a nice textured edge there. Good drag, that's the volume. This is a speed select 33 and 45, it's a two speed turntable. Now this is a cool feature addition as well. This turntable, like its predecessor, receives Bluetooth, so you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker. However, it also transmits Bluetooth, so you can send Bluetooth from this device to wireless headphones, to a Bluetooth speaker, et cetera, et cetera and there is a play pause button which i'm guessing acts as a start stop button for the platter all right and here it is all put together i'm going to skip out on testing the tracking force because it's adjustable you can make that adjustment easy also i'm going to skip out on doing the speed test because it's got a trim pot in the back so if the speed's incorrect you put your alignment or you put your strobe disc on there and it's incorrect by the way you can print those for free online then you just make an adjustment on the back, super easy, a lot easier than what we were doing the other day, trying to adjust the speed on the motor itself. So yeah, this is a gorgeous turntable. From a design perspective, it looks clean, it looks modern, yet still 1986, 1987 in a good way. And uh, the components are quality, and we haven't even turned it on yet. So <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, focus on the functionality a little bit more in this video. So. What I'm going to do is play some audio in the room. I always test ambiently when there's uh, speakers because that's that's the system, right? And then we will test the Bluetooth functionality on this, something we don't usually do because that is a hallmark of this new upgraded model. So let me go ahead and put a record on. We'll give it a listen. Now you may be saying to yourself, oh man, he's playing that Enoch Light Total Sound Shock or Future. I can never remember if it's Total Sound Shock or Future Sound Shock. Anyway, I'm not. I'm playing a different record. It happens to be on Project 3 because it is Enoch Light, but this is a different Enoch Light. This is Big Band Hits of the 30s and 40s by Enoch Light and the Light Brigade. These Project 3 records sound fantastic. I love it when people ask me what music I'm using because they're interested in purchasing it. I've had a lot of people do that on the uh, Total Sound Shock, Future Sound Shock record. So uh, maybe, maybe you guys will like this one too. I haven't listened to this record in quite a while, so it's going to be kind of a... I know it sounds good, and that's why I picked it. So it'll be a little bit of a surprise for each of us. Now, um, I believe I turned the unit on with the power switch. Yes? No? Maybe? And down here, yeah, okay, so we got this blue flashing light. It's uh, in the transmit position. Now, when I flip it to LP, LP will obviously just be playing it wired through these speakers. These speakers are not Bluetooth. So even in Bluetooth mode, that receiving or transmitting is going to occur with this device to external speakers or from a phone if it's in speaker mode or uh, I should say receiving mode. Uh, but right now I just want to play hardwire analog through these speakers. It's kind of cool that it has the Bluetooth capability and for the people that detract from the digital aspect of Bluetooth and uh, you know say what about the pure vinyl analog experience you still get that as well because in this mode we're completely analog, 100% analog. So without further ado, using the microphone in the room and these speakers, let's go ahead and give this a listen.
now as it hits the runout groove you'll notice it does not stop because this is a completely manual turntable that's me lifting the cueing lever and returning the tone arm to home and pressing the play pause button to stop the rotation okay so hopefully that came across on camera but it sounded fantastic absolutely phenomenal not just acceptable not just pretty good but fantastic these speakers are very well designed they've got plenty of power the tonality was warm in a good way it had bright high ends plenty of rich bass plenty of mid end or mid range i should say it just sounded great it sounded really really good and i'm thinking to myself literally as i was playing this is the best beginner turntable setup that i can think of and you may be saying what are you talking about we always recommend the lp60 series and while that is a fantastic fully automatic unit this is a little bit more actually quite a bit more because it's got you know out of the box bluetooth in and out which we'll look at that in a minute and you know there are bluetooth versions of the lp60x which i actually have the bluetooth version but this comes with it bluetooth in bluetooth out it comes with the USB capability. It comes with speakers, and that's so huge because a lot of people buy the LP60 or something similar and don't realize, hey, I have to buy speakers still. This comes with everything, everything in the box, and it's all matched, and it all works well, and it's all quality. This is a good turntable, and dare I say, maybe even mid-range turntable. It is fantastic for the beginner. I mean, this would be like, I can't believe a beginner would start at this level, far above where you and I probably started in vinyl. So I'm flabbergasted, I'm not surprised necessarily, just happy that this is a good, good unit. I promise you guys a look at the platter wobble, so let's take a closer look at that real quick. By the way, the platter is one of those not 100% full-size platters. It, there's a little bit of an overhang, which I think is nice because it makes it easy to grasp the record to pull it on and off. So let's go ahead and look and see if there's any platter wobble. I have a feeling there's a hair. In fact, I'm going to take the platter mat off too because that, okay. So yeah, you can see we do have a little undulation there. So there's a hair, a bit of a, a little bit of platter wobble, which isn't ideal, but on this system, I don't think you're going to hear anything. And it's kind of one of those production run issues. The next unit off the line may have none. So something to be aware of, but definitely nothing more than a light yellow flag okay let's test out the bluetooth i'm putting it to rx mode there's lp tx which is transmit and rx which is receive so putting it over to bluetooth receive because i'm connecting my iphone and it should pop up on my device and let's take a look there it pops up as one by one bs010 i'm clicking connect and hopefully it does quickly easy as that and now i can go over and pull up some music. Yep, I'm back at it. Now I'm a rap addict, tag nab it, microphone fiend, now that's at it. More fiend and a more fiend, crack at it. So yeah, it works, works great, and it sounds good too. I'm very excited though that, you know, a lot of times when you have a Bluetooth device, the Bluetooth sounds better than the turntable, but in this case, the turntable, the actual LP sounds fantastic. You actually hear the increased fidelity of vinyl versus you know, something that may be digital. So I think that's fantastic. Uh, let's try the uh, LP transmit mode. We'll transmit audio from this device to a Bluetooth speaker. Okay, now we're gonna do the opposite. So we are in Bluetooth transmit mode, and I'm gonna take this uh, Bluetooth speaker from the HYM turntable and put it on. I always think it's amazing that Bluetooth devices can pair to each other when you can't select anything. So it's good to keep them close. Okay, it took a good minute, but it did connect. So I'm going to take the speaker and hold it up by the mic here and start the turntable. I do like the play pause functionality down there, but let's go ahead and turn this on. Interesting. By the way, it cuts the volume immediately. You don't hear that when you stop the platter. As soon as you hit play pause, the audio gets muted, which I think is a good feature. It comes out of the back because the analog is always connected, which is good. I think that's a good thing. There's no digital interface between the speakers and the turntable, but you have to turn the volume down, otherwise you get the double sound. But what we're hearing now is purely from this device. Transmit. 
transmitted to Bluetooth. Now, you may be saying to yourself, if it has good speakers, why would you want to do this? You know, people love Bluetooth. They just, I, it kind of baffles a lot of people in the vinyl community, myself included. But some people are just like hooked on Bluetooth. This feature, more than transmitting to speakers, I would think of transmitting to earbuds if you want to listen privately or transmitting to good headphones more so than to a, unless maybe you have a fantastic Bluetooth speaker system. Maybe you've just got this crazy thing or a sound bar by your TV. I don't know. There's a use case out there for everything. But as you can see, it does receive and transmit. That's a new feature for this model. So if you want those capabilities, the upgraded panel, the upgraded counterweight, you need to get this exact one and there will be a link down below. So if you are looking for a beginner turntable, this would be the one for you. And if you are looking to make an upgrade from a suitcase player, an all-in-one system, an older turntable, a secondary turntable, this is not a terrible mid-range turntable either. Now, some people may want to fight me on that, but it's a good unit. It really is. It sounds great. It's built quality. It was almost 100%. If it wasn't for the hair of platter wobble, I can't think of any fault that I found. And like I said, that may be different from one unit to the next. I've had these before with zero platter wobble, so it just depends. Anyway, it was fun to make. Hopefully it was fun to watch. I appreciate you guys so very, very much, but that's gonna do it for today. So happy record hunting, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.